Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm back here today. Pug plays. Today we're gonna play uh, Death Road to Canada. We're not, this isn't a new series or anything. I just want to play. I want to try a new game. So I have people. So I'm gonna load me an irritating explorer. And I need a buddy. Actually, no. I'm gonna go with. Just me. Apparently, here's rumors that Canada is a safe place free of threats to zombies. With nothing to gain from waiting around Florida, he decides to brave the death road and travel north. Hit the road. I know how to play this game, sort of. And since it's only me, I have eight days of food. Blah, blah, blah. I need to find supplies. Quiet factory, house on the road? Um, house on the road. Duh, we're gonna find some redneck weaponry. Oh. Unless the game wants to lag. Oh, there we go. Apparently spots a house on the road. It looks fairly quiet from the outside, but looking through the windows reveals shape lurking in the darkness. Oh, lurching. I'm gonna take a flashlight. What do I got? I got a frying pan as my starting weapon. Oh crap. Wait, how do I attack? I don't actually know the controls without a remote. One second, I need to plug in my remote. Ow, I just smacked myself in the face with my remote wire. I just freaking this was a bad idea. Second, I didn't set this up. I'm an idiot. Oh. Uh. Whoa. This was a mistake. Circle around him. Get out of my way. Ah, okay, this is bad. Run. Oh gosh. This was a mistake. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna get out of here. Ah, okay, I'm dead. Yes, Lee, let's go. I'm an idiot, and I only have heavy weaponry. Apparently, grab some cans of food while they're on the shelves, uh, avoiding a sparse amount of zombies. Another group of looters come in. Looters start shooting. They really want those cans. But I ran away, because I'm cool. I ate two food. I'm a pig. Okay. Zombies are no problem. Maybe a small problem. I can't help myself because I lack medicine for this. An infected city from the road, scouting it from afar. Bookstore. I want to read some Stephen King during the apocalypse. It's B to switch items. Yay, medkit. Redneck. Where's the shotgun, redneck? Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, this good. I get tired because I'm using a frying pan as well. I'm an idiot with a bad remote. Library. The Bookatorium. Apparently, finds the book in good condition among the ruined magazines. The 
The book is com complete guide to lifting. Okay. Can I pick up all these books? lifting he reads and absorbs the knowledge my strength is increased oh wow it's crappy just like in real life nice siphons gas from abandoned vehicles and spots a magazine with cars it's an issue of prepared peppers the special edition and main condition he said is in now is justified with some shooting medical and mechanical is increased and i got 53 gas that's really good i'm doing really good on my own surviving the apocalypse with puck plays camping spot okay Apparently it tries to help, but lacks enough medical supplies. Well, yeah. There's no sign of on life. It seems that everyone took what they could. Scavenge town thoroughly. Yeah, let's scavenge it thoroughly. What? All right, we're gonna try that again. really I'm gonna need hit the road yeah grab some supplies from the rest stop oh I got a weapon that's not dumb So what I like to do in these games is like I always watch YouTube and it's like, whoa, that person's name is Brantley in that game. That's so crazy. That person's name is George. What's this? Climb the garbage pile. I got three food from that, but I got hurt. We'll probably run out of gas before we get to Canada. Probably. So anyway, like, if I see, if I run into somebody that happens to have the first same name as you, just assume that it's you. Uh, swarm size, pharmacy. Oh, there's... 
instead of my rebar. has increased. That's really good. My morale has decreased, though, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay. I'm really depressed. We should ditch the car and find a big zombie we can ride on. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I'm scared. Oh, I'm gonna try and repair it. Oh, yeah, I'm super mad now. I'm bad at mechanics. Yay! I slammed my hand in the car door and it makes me blow a gasket, and I hurt myself. Visit the trading camp! Um, I rarely find some dogs are by a bunch of animals. No thanks, I'm not gonna rob That's a me, I don't wanna talk to me. I need to find somebody who will sell me better this one. Oh, yeah, I wanna be trained on how to do Okay, I'm better at mechanics. That's nice. Oh. oh, that's my brother! Oh my gosh! Major Man is hanging around the camp. He's been waiting for you to show up. Trait, mysterious pass. Perk, surgeon. Yo, I'm totally gonna remove my brother. That's crazy. Don't no watch your food traded before bandits get hello, man. This group sees man. Do you have any spare gas? I'm running out. Yeah, I think I'm like, I'm gonna rob the dog. Well, I died. But my brother stole a craft board of ammo. Did I lose my gun? Like, we should bring as little attention to ourselves as possible. Oh no, my brother went crazy. He's not used to me being dead. Gristle. She is alone and wants to join the team. Sure. Cool. I died and now it's just my brother and some lady. Oh no. Siege alert. What weapons does Gristle have? She's got a rusty machete. And then my brother, who I'm gonna play as has a snub nose and a hatchet. Uh-oh. 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 
missile. Run. Okay, let's get out of here. Yes. Nice. And we still have a crap load of ammo. That's also nice. The group feels inspired after managing to survive that. Morale and one health heal. Morale and a random skill gain. Gristle's morale increases. Major Mez morale increases. Gristle's fitness increases. And Major Mez something increases. And I earned a Zombo point, which means at the end of the game, there's like... I can go, there's like, I can buy perks for extra characters. Shoot the cans. The group gets some shooting practice by busting the cans. Everybody's shooting increases. A man in red long johns runs onto the field with a pitchfork. My cans! My precious antique cans! Oh, look what you've done to them! He shakes the pitchfork and yells. Uh, ha ha. Our morale decreased a lot. Oh, we only have one thing, I guess. The group finds an old game, Bronus TM. It's a handheld video game system that survived this long because it's built like a brick. There were a few games with it, all known for their extremely frustrating difficulty. Drop this card. My brother. Drop this and his pals race. Major man, mechanic blows increase. The game is way too difficult, but his morale decreases. Great, he's depressed. We're out of gas. And then we just found another car. Swap for the tiny car. But they're also fragile. Okay. Major Man decides to blow off some steam by delivering a seemingly endless rant. They try to ignore it. Crystal tries to ignore Major Man, but he gets he keeps going and going. Crystal morale decreases, but Elon's no longer depressed. Whoa, it's my friend Drew! It's nice to see a familiar face. He is being thrown out by his former group. They seem pretty angry. Drew shrugs. Bomb under fire and gun genie. The group accepts Drew to the team. Drew joins the team. Uh, the group the Dark Mansion around the apartment. Big grocery store. Spots a big grocery store with a bunch of zombies around. Alright, equipment. Drew has a crowbar, but I'm gonna give him a flashlight too. That's boogie, boys. Alright, we need to grab food. Oh, this is surprisingly a lot of zombies.
and get the heck out of here. Run! saw people do stuff. Endure the smell. Everyone's sad again. Uh-huh. Gun it. Yeah, we made it. I mean, the car's like almost destroyed now. It's obviously no problem. Well, maybe it's small. I said that, Gristle, you piece of... Warm dressed up. Let's just go in there. Gosh, Gristle blew up in the car. Oh my gosh. Major memories. Okay. Gristle blew up. But we got a car. And a crap load more gas. Right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to end this episode right here. I'm going to have a second episode right now. Yeah, I'll read this next episode. Thank you all for watching. I'm going to see you all next time.